Okay, so in the last video, you got a chance to see how to install your um, Office 365 client applications. I do plan to show you how each of those applications work. In this video, I want to take some time out to explain to you the difference between a client application and a web application. This is going to be important to understand if you are to understand what a cloud relationship is because Office 365 is a SaaS application, software as a service. A client application is an application that you install locally um, on your computer. Again, in the last video we installed it, so now I can actually access my client application. For instance, if I want to access one of the Office 365 applications, which is um, Outlook. Outlook provides you with email service. This is my first time logging on to the Outlook application, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my account. account setup is complete. We'll skip the mobile application piece for now and select OK. And you can see the Outlook application has opened up for me. And this is the client app because again it's installed locally. So as I receive email, my email will actually be stored locally on my machine because I have the Outlook client on it. The good thing about a client application is um, it's a lot easier to use, more user friendly. I don't know, maybe because it's been around much longer, so I'm just used to it. But I much prefer using a client application than the web application because I kind of know where everything is. Who knows? Maybe in the future I'll change my mind. But for now, the application I consider to be much more user friendly. And we'll go over more details about Outlook um, in a later video. But I wanted you to get a chance to understand what a client application is. Again, it's installed on my local computer I can get access to it as long as I have access to my to this machine that you're looking at if I don't have access to my machine I would not have access to this client application now let me show you guys what the web application looks like I can open up the web application using any web browser Google Chrome Explorer Edge whatever I'll go ahead and open up Chrome and um, we'll go to the same spot office.com automatically detected my account so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password okay so again we're back on the office dashboard right this is how I get access to my web application so again you saw the client application for Outlook now I'm gonna show you the web application for Outlook if I select the Outlook app it will take me here this is my initial startup I want to select my time zone, Eastern Time, save. Okay, so you're now looking at the web application for Outlook. Looks very similar to the client application. You got your email here, your calendar, and things like that. Um, now the difference is I can access my Outlook web application from anywhere in the world using any machine. I can get access to this interface that you're looking at right now from just about any computer that has internet access and a web browser. In addition, I also have access to the same email data. Yep, the same one that I told you was stored locally, saved locally on my on my machine here is also saved on my web application. Why? Because everything is kept in what's called the cloud, right? So Microsoft um, has these databases located somewhere all across the world and that's where they store your actual email data. In fact, that's where they store all your Office 365 application data, right? So don't confuse the application with the data. So essentially, this web application will feed the data from the cloud. Again, the cloud being Microsoft Data Center located somewhere on this planet not actually in the sky um, but it's located somewhere on this planet and it, it retrieves the email data and will populate your email here when I open up my my client application my email data is also retrieved from the same cloud right um, however it stores a copy of it locally on my machine so the benefit of that is even if I lose internet access whatever has been synced and it's called sync when I say copy sync same thing whatever is synced with my client application I can actually get access to it without actually requiring internet access so my internet can be cut off and I still have access to my email 
on my specific machine right so again web application you can access it anywhere client application you access on your local machine okay all right I hope that made sense to you um, if not just um, shoot me some questions and I'll be more than happy to clarify in the next video we're gonna actually take a deep dive into some of these tools we're gonna look into Outlook then I'm gonna jump into SharePoint I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks with teams as well so stay tuned for that see you in the next one